Hello, welcome to the Village of Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments, and this is our weekly look at the least expensive homes for sale in the villages. We are not considering manufactured homes. We're just looking at single family homes or villas. As always, I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. If you have any questions about real estate in the villages or nearby, please feel free to contact me. So let's begin. This week, we start with something new. We're going to look at the average price of the cheapest 10 homes for sale in the villages. As I stated earlier, we're not considering manufactured homes in this example. This is the average of the cheapest 10 homes for sale in the villages. We can watch this week by week and see how this number changes. I also provide this graph, which shows you the average price per square foot for all properties for sale in the villages as of Monday of the week of this presentation. So let's take a closer look at the cheapest homes for sale in the villages. I will briefly mention that manufactured homes this week, seven of the cheapest eight homes are manufactured homes. Last week, the top five were manufactured homes. So let's look at the least expensive homes and we look at it two ways. The first is price per square foot and the second is by price. Let's start with price per square foot. Cheapest home this week is $191.69 a square foot. Uh, last week, this home was the cheapest and it was $196.17 a foot. This week, it's $389,000. Last week, it was $399,000. It's a single family residence, three bedroom, two bath, built in 1988. It has been on the market 34 days. It's a Vera Cruz model. It has crown molding and granite countertops. It has new interior and exterior paint and new carpeting. The bond is zero. The second cheapest home was also the second cheapest home last week. Last week it was priced at $199.23 a square foot. This week it's $194.70 a square foot. Last week it was $439,900. This week it's $10,000 cheaper at $429.9. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's on a corner lot on a cul-de-sac. It overlooks the El Santiago golf course. It has a water view and it was built in 2001. It has been on the market for 143 days. It's the Gardenia model. It has new air conditioning installed in 2021 and it's close to Spanish Springs. The third cheapest home on a price per square foot basis is $202.21 a square foot. It was $209.82 a square foot and it was the fourth cheapest home last week. This week, it's the third cheapest. Last week, it was $389,000. This week, it is $374,900. It's a three bedroom, two bath in the village of Santo Domingo. It was built in 1998. It is the Vera Cruz designer model. It has a new stove. It's been on the market 37 days and it's being sold fully furnished. This home has no bond. We come to the fourth cheapest home on a price per square foot basis. It's $216.09 a square foot, priced at $449.9. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, built in 1995. It's been on the market for 10 days. It's on a quarter acre on a cul-de-sac in the village of Rio Grande. It has room for a pool. It has a two car garage and the garage has built in cabinets, a lighted workspace and a custom workbench. It also has a bond outstanding of zero. And the fifth cheapest home on a price per square foot basis is $218.38 a square foot, priced at $409,900. It's a three bedroom, two bath built in 2000. It's in the village of Polo Ridge. The bond is paid. It has a great location, which is across from the Polo grounds. The kitchen has new quartz countertops and it had a new roof that was installed in 2020. Now let's look at the least expensive by price. The cheapest last week was $299,000 and $266.73 a square foot. This week, the cheapest is $245,000. It's 1114 square feet, which is $219.93 a square foot. A two bedroom, two bath, it was built in 1991. It is on a cul-de-sac in Silver Lake. It has a two car garage and it is being sold turnkey, including the golf cart. The second cheapest home on a price basis is $288,000, 1,121 square feet. It's priced at 
$256.91 a square foot. It is a two bedroom, two bath. It was built in 1999. It is a colony patio villa. There are no neighbors behind the home. It's in the village of Alhambra and it has fresh paint in the interior. The roof and the water heater are being replaced and the bond outstanding is zero. The third cheapest home on a price basis is $289,900. It is 1,143 square feet and it's priced at $252.84 a square foot. This home was the second cheapest home last week when it was $299,000 and $262.38 a square foot. It's a two bedroom, two bath built in 1994. It has an open floor plan. The AC was replaced in 2005 and the water heater was replaced in 2011. The bond is paid and it has been on the market for 34 days. The fourth cheapest home on a price basis was the cheapest home last week. Its price is unchanged. It was 299,000 last week. It's 299,000 this week. It's 1,121 square feet, which is $266.73 a square foot. It's a two bedroom, two bath built in 1994. It has stainless steel appliances and it is the colony model. This home has been on the market for 55 days. And the last home we're gonna look at is the fifth cheapest home on a price basis. It's $299,900. It's 1,084 square feet, which is $276.66 a square foot. It's a two bedroom, two bath built in 1996. It is the Maverick model and it's located in the village of Rio Ponderosa. It is located between Lake Sumter Landing and Spanish Spring. So that is our look at the least expensive homes in the villages. If you have any questions on real estate, please feel free to contact me at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. I will answer any questions you have. And if I don't have an answer, I will research to discover the answer for you. I hope to hear from you. Take care.